If you want to make a lot of money, then you have come to the right place. This is my YouTube channel called John's Gold and Silver. And this is my newest segment called Quick Stock Updates. And uh, I'm glad you're here today because uh, we're going to take a look at a couple of one stock here, AMC, because this was a mute major uh, loser today. So that's pretty crazy. I'm glad I didn't own this one. If you owned it, you know, I'm, I'm really uh, sorry. And that's kind of disappointing. Um, so, but first guys, I, please join the Patreon because I'm making people, helping, helping people make a lot of money. Uh, you know, I was up nine, uh, almost nine grand on uh, my Genius Group stock. Um, and, no, you know, there's going to be a lot of good stuff coming. And, guys, I, when I sleep, I dream about leverage. I know how to get the most leverage in these markets when these markets take off, when they lower the rates. And this is serious, guys. You know, no one believes me. No one believed, uh, you know, Galileo when he said that red apples fall faster than green apples. And uh, in fact, they killed the guy uh, in that uh, with the Chinese water torture, or was it uh, with the bamboo? Um, I forget what that's called. Uh, but if you don't join the Patreon, then you're going to miss out on certain relevant information in regards to gaining the most leverage when these markets take off. So there's no one else uh, talking about it and saying the same things that I'm saying right now. Uh, especially with certain buying options and stuff on certain stocks, and I'm going to tell you which ones. So go to the Patreon. Today we will cover AMC Entertainment Holdings. They operate theaters. Uh, they both own them and uh, they lease them as well. Reason being is that, uh, reason I'm going to talk about this one today, guys, is that the stock tanked right now. We're down to $8.62, but after hours it's up to uh, $8.87. So we're, we're going to talk about why it's crashing so much. It's pretty sad, a pretty sad story. Uh, the CEO is uh, Adam Aaron, and I hear other YouTubers talk very poorly about him. So I don't, and uh, I don't think I'm too positive on the CEO myself. All right, uh, as far as him leading the company in the right direction, uh, I don't think he is. Uh, there's a 2.16 billion dollar market cap, so it is a, still a very large company, and I think they, I think they have around nine billion in assets. Last I checked. Um, there's 158 million shares, uh, but there's really no insider ownership. So that tells me, CEO, people he knows with the company, they don't own a lot. You know, that should tell you enough right there, guys. So all these people that love AMC, they should just say, you know, insider ownership, not too good. Uh, so that's going against it for sure. This stock has a, had a high of around $300 a share. If you're not... For, I mean, if you're not familiar with the stock, you must have been living under a rock. You know, this is one of the most famous short squeezes in history. Um, this was after AMC put out stronger than expected financials that pointed to uh, better, pointed towards gaining positive cash flow. Then AMC just went after these results. They went crazy. They blew up on uh, Reddit and uh, the Wall Street bets. So yeah, guys, these days it's all about online activity. If the stock is uh, getting a lot of chit chat online and blowing up, you know, they, people go after it and uh, they cause a short squeeze with this thing, okay? The AMC, the crowds blew the stock up. The, uh, they had, they used coordinated buying to cause a short squeeze because there's a, um, the hedge funds, you know, that were short it, uh, you know, causing the stock to go down, lose value. Uh, they were the markets were able to overtake them. Okay, usually these hedge funds have a lot of money, but there was the buying pressure was so strong that they were you know a short squeeze. They were forced to cover uh, margin calls. You know the the hedge fund got screwed basically. So it's a cool situation if you want to investigate that more if you're new to investing. Uh, then the uh, you know also AMC invested into a lot of unprofitable theaters after that after they got a lot of that money. Um, from their stock price going crazy. Now there is a lawsuit between the shareholders and the company, okay? The shareholders allege that uh, the company rigged a shareholder vote that would allow AMC to convert preferred stock to common stock. So this would mean that uh, the, com the company made the decision apparently that they're going to cause a whole lot more shares to come into existence when you, they do that share conversion. And that's horrible uh, for anyone that holds equity in the stock because you're, you're going to be diluted, okay? 
Um, kind of like they're doing with our currency, you know, the United States dollar. Today, though, the stock dropped because the company announced plans to dilute even more. Um, they're going to sell up to 40 million shares. Basically, they're going to dilute shareholder equity. So this is not good for anyone uh, that's the shareholder of the company. It's pretty sad, actually. Uh, and they're only having to do this because of their original unprofitable investments. But um, also the pandemics hurt, hurt AMC, too. Okay. On a positive note, though, Last July, the AMC did pretty good on the Barbie and Oppenheimer movies, okay? Now, I hadn't seen any of those, but, you know, I'm guessing I wouldn't like them. This was AMC's best single day of any, uh, since the pandemic. So that's pretty crazy. Um, most recent quarter showed revenue was $1.35 billion, and there was only $1.29 billion that they predicted. So that's good. My final take on the stock not so good as a long-term investment because of their debt and then they have the history of uh, diluting shares so if you're gonna buy it as a long-term investment like if you had uh, if you bought this a few years ago I mean you probably lost like 90 percent of your money okay or I mean if you bought it during during the squeeze obviously you should not buy it during a squeeze <laughs> so I don't know yeah there's people that say that they're like oh if you would have bought it in 2021 you would have lost 90 percent of your equity yeah, but don't buy it on the highs, okay? But yeah, you can buy this thing for a swing trade. That's what I'm saying. Uh, but no, not long term. Um, what else did I want to say? Long term, it's getting, you know, it's getting pretty expensive to go to movie theaters too. Uh, I can see, you know, but when they do have really great movies, people do love to go. So I think it depends on the industry as a whole. We need, we need to get like every Disney movie is pretty much horrible now. Um, I, you know, I stopped going to the movies. Because it's just, there's garbage. Um, they're just like remakes of movies, and I don't know, there's nothing, not too much good today. But I, oh, also, I can see a situation though where this actually has another short squeeze, okay? I don't know when, but it could be after maybe the company will do particularly well. Uh, but right now, I don't see them doing that well. Uh, there's always people that like to go to the movies for like a getaway. Um, but if the recession's coming, I think there'd be even fewer people going to the movies. So, but, I mean, in the future, I, I could see maybe I'd buy some shares, but I don't want to right now. But uh, that's my take on AMC, so thanks, guys.